Hey guys, it's Hey Sophia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a Norwegian house. So shout out down below to TacoMan21 who requested that I do this build, but let's get started. So there's a few things that are stereotypical in Norwegian houses. The first thing is that they are sometimes painted in very vibrant colors. These are most typically red, blue or yellow. But the most common color that Norwegian houses are is white. So feel free to do this house white if you don't like the red. I've decided to do red because I think it's quite Scandinavian. The second thing is that they have little rooms to keep in the warmth. So you want to make sure that your house, your like house is very cozy. You don't want a very big room giant house. The third thing is that they have steep roofs. And the reason they have this is so that snow can slide off in the weather time so we are going to have a steeper roof on this house as well so i've just got some dimensions on screen so you can follow them the dimensions i have done is for the wood logs now the reason this house has two layers of walls is because you do have wood houses in norway but they're painted red so because we're using the concrete but you still want the wood effect on the inside i've just done two layers so I just sped up ahead there and built my walls for five blocks high, sorry. And let's get started on the front. So we're going to make this little kind of archway here. So just make a little triangle like I did and then carry the wall on behind. For our roofing, I am using the stone brick block because it kind of looks like a slate tile, which is what you typically find they use in Norway. And to do our guttering and the underside trimming, we are doing the quartz blocks just in staircases and slabs. We're then going to go one block high around the edges of our house to do our second story. This will be a two story house. And then once we have done that, we're going to start doing the edges of our house. So at the ends of our house, we will be doing, because I mentioned earlier, steep roofs. So you want to be doing this giant triangle now normally this isn't really recommended in Minecraft, but for Norwegian houses this is the architecture style that they do do. So that's what we're going for. Now once you have finished that, you want to start doing your roofing, which like I said earlier, we're using the stone brick. You could do a white trimming like that if that's something that you prefer. But I really like the look of the quartz being under these stone bricks, so that's what I'm going to go with today. Feel free also to do a different kind of trimming for the brick if you want. Maybe you want like a cobblestone trimming and then the slate, but I think the stone brick looks really good. Now, instead of having the quartz around the edge of the house like this, we're going to do the iron trapdoor. So it's kind of a nice thin white trimming, but there we go. So I sped up ahead. We will be doing some more roof details, so don't worry. The next thing you want to do is find the center of your house. You just want to go about eight blocks in on either side. And then we're going to make a cutout and make a second story window. Now you can do a couple of these on the front of your house. You could do one on the front and maybe two on the back area of your house. It's really up to you. I've just done the one here to show you how to do it, but feel free to do more. So you want to be going about three blocks high and then again making another pointy triangle so we have that steep roof that we need for Norwegian houses. And then just like the rest of our house we will be doing a stone brick roof with the quads under trimming and then we just want to be joining it up to the rest of the house. Now I'm just removing some of the bricks on the inside there and I will also do a like a makeshift wall on the inside just so I can do like a trimming and join the roof tiles up on that like curved edge. There we go. Now that that's done, you just want to remove this edging here and then you can fill in the concrete walls. Mm -hmm. 
Now don't worry too much about this, I've just done this for now so I can hide the bits that do need to be hidden. Oh, I got stuck. There we go. Okay. Now that that is done, we're going to be moving on to more so the interiors of the house. But you can see that the house is starting to come together. It does look a little bit plain, but once you do your garden and everything else, it will really pull together. Now let's make it night vision. There we go. Now we're going to start focusing on the interiors of our house now. For any little kind of like hallways or little archways in the house, we are going to be just using up down, upside down oak staircases. Now it might look a little bit too much being oak flooring, oak roof and oak walls in the house. But from most of the research I have done into Norwegian houses, they do have wood on floors and their walls and also on their ceilings. Sometimes they do have painted walls, but most of the ones I can find are just plain wood, which I think is quite nice, which is also why I've gone for the oak today, because it's quite a natural looking wood. Now, it's a little bit much at the moment, but once you start to put in your interiors and you start to really pull everything together, it doesn't actually, like, it's not too much, it's actually just enough wood. So I'm just doing the staircase to the second story now, just this little cute winding one from the entrance here, and we will fill it in underneath. I am going to leave a little gap so I can make kind of like a little cupboard there. Feel free though to turn that into a bathroom and then where I have my toilet downstairs you can make a different kind of room, or you could even not have the cupboard at all and just completely fill it in. For the railing for our staircase we will be using the spruce fence post just to have a different contrasting color and the same will happen when we do the doorways in our houses as well we will use spruce because again it's a different color and it doesn't have holes in it <laughs> you now want to fill in the flooring a little bit for the second floor you don't want to be coming close to the railing too much or it will join up going to fill in the flooring up here and the roofing there we go so all I've done for the roofing is I went two blocks high and then I did upside down staircases on the roof and then the end sections of the house I did just completely two blocks high of the oak block I'm now just joining up the ending little bit here There we go. So this is what the second story house looks like now. Now again, remember I said it will look a little bit too much at the moment, but once we do our interiors and I show you those at the end, you'll see how it pulls together. Now on the second story of the house, we are going to have two bedrooms and a bathroom. And then on the first story of the house, we will have a lounge room, kitchen, dining, and a bathroom. Now again, remember you want your rooms to be quite cozy, so although this may seem a little bit cramped in some houses, this is actually really nice for the Norwegian style. Now for the windows, I'm just going to kind of like space them equally here. I am going to add a lot more later on. Now when you're building uh, windows in Norwegian houses, you just want to make sure you're not making really big giant ones. Although in modern architecture in Scandinavia, they do have bigger windows, you typically find the average Norwegian house will have smaller windows. This is because glass allows heat to escape. So when you're building a house in like the Scandinavia areas like Norway, you typically find that the houses will have smaller windows. But there we go. So I sped up ahead to the end here. Now a few things I added to the exterior of the house is I added a few planter boxes. My windows I filled in with the white glass window panes and my front doors I made iron trap doors so you had a bit of white. 
Now, Norwegian gardens, they typically do not have fences around them. If they do have fences, they tend to be a wood kind of picket fence or a metal wire fence. I've also got a little kind of deck area per se around here for when you want to come outside in the sunshine. And here is my planter boxes. Now Norwegians really have quite lush gardens so you want to be making sure you have a really lush kind of garden. With lots of grass on the edging because they tend to let this grow a little bit wild just to add a bit of character. Now when you come into the house you can see how the coziness and the wood is taken away from the carpet and the interiors you add. I've just done some very simple interiors here. I've made a little lamp post here. I've got bookcases. Now remember I said we were doing a fireplace in the middle of the house which is what this is here. I do actually make a second story fireplace on the second story of the house as well. So feel free to do that if you like, otherwise don't worry too much. Now kitchens in uh, Norway tend to have the kitchen and the dining room joined together. So that's what I have done here. I've got my dining and my kitchen in the one room. I have used spruce here and dark oak so I've got some different complementing woods compared to the oak. Here's my little cupboard. But feel free to do that, turn that into like a study or anything else. And here's my little toilet bathroom with just a toilet in there. Now if you come upstairs, I have a bathroom and two bedrooms. So here's my bathroom, which I do feature a bath because you tend to find in colder climates, baths are more common. Here's one of my bedrooms here. So again, very simple furnishings, just like things to make it feel warm and cozy like carpets and lots of warm looking blocks. Now here is the fireplace I mentioned, so you don't have to do this if you don't want to, especially if you're in survival. This is just something I have done for my build. But there you go. So that is how to build a Norwegian house in Minecraft. You could also do a little smoke spout up the top for a little bit more character. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. But like always guys, thank you so so much for watching. Thank you!